Uh, this person on the History Channel just watched uh, uh, the investigated death of uh, General George S. Patton. They had decided it was just an accident. Apparently, a tech sergeant topped the side swipe Patton's vehicle and caused a neck, neck injury while he was traveling. Patton was quoted at the scene of the accident saying, don't charge the driver because it was just an accident. He later died of an embolism. His wife did not want an autopsy, and during the program, Patton's granddaughter made a statement. She said that on a visit to Germany, a 90-year-old man approached her and explained that he was hired by the Russians to kill Patton in the hospital. He doesn't think that this represents the truth. What do you think, Bob? He wants to know. Um, in 1987, uh, there was a spook convention, and these are ex-CIA people and that sort of contract player. Um, something I was invited into but never participated with because I didn't agree with what they were doing. And um, uh, one of the people who was there uh, had worked with the Mossad for years, and um, uh, he... Uh, made the statement that uh, he was the one who laid the trap to kill uh, Patton. And it was in the summertime, and they had the front of the uh, the Jeep down. And you people are veterans, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there was two screws, one on each side, and you could push the uh, windscreen uh, down onto the hood of the vehicle so you'd get lots of air. And it was it was warm. It was in the middle of of uh, the um the summertime. And they put a wire across the road and decapitated him. And that was his story. I had heard the story before, uh, through counterintelligence and I think that's a correct story. I've been told a lot of other stories. Uh, particularly by people who are on the other side, the German generals, SS officers, people who I interrogated. And uh, I could stay here for two days telling you stories, which you're not interested in. But anyway, things are not the way they seem to be, and every government lies all the time. And has in history, uh, that's just the way it is. And the people are the ones who always get the short end. Incidentally, I met George Patton when I was uh, I was eight, seven or eight, nine in that area. And the reason I did is that uh, my grandmother and grandfather had a home in a place called Wenham outside Boston, and Hamilton is the next town to Wenham. And they sort of kind of go together. And Patton lived in Hamilton. And he had come back, I guess, um, rest and relaxation, R&R. &R. And uh, he was out there in the town square. And he gave a little speech. And I got to shake his hand. Aww. And to this day, in that town, in the middle of town, they have a Patton tank. Uh, to commemorate the fact that he spoke there. 